Alrighty, this is part two. Yeah. And the Warner Wolves that's all I'm gonna ask you, Ivan. What's your idea for what? What's your idea? There ain't no idea. What's your idea? For, what's your idea for your uh, for your franchise? And I tell me and Weezy, we have our notes. We pitch to the market. Okay, this is my idea for the first movie, and I have a few ideas for the second, third movie. They're like, holy shit! I've not saw that. That looks like a masterpiece. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Ivan. The Wachowski sisters told us they never want to touch the Matrix again. But if you pitch pitch to them this kind of story. And you offer them a boatload of money. They already know. You guys already know how much money I'm willing to pay them. They're going to be on board, guaranteed. Yeah. The main reason why the Wakala sisters want to be on board is because they want to be saved. They saw that that, that crazy buzz of Zayn's. They, they, they don't want to be left behind. They want to be saved. It's a huge opportunity for them. They also know it's a huge opportunity for them. They're gonna, they're, it's, 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 well, they're already big directors, right? But I know it's a huge opportunity for them to be saved, to be a part of an Ivan and VJ movie. Yeah. That's why they're going to what? They're going to guarantee... I'm going to guarantee get them on board. And if they're not on board, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not touching the Matrix franchise. I'll just make the Great Escape with Keanu Reeves and all of them. I'm not going to make the... And I don't trust any other director to do a good job. To do as good of a job as the Wakali Sisters. The Wakali Sisters have created the brand. The second choice on my mind will be Christopher Nolan. But Christopher Nolan is, is not a Matrix guy. You see what I'm saying? But he would be the the, the, the best man to, 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 to direct my what? My my, my, my my what? My Matrix franchise. But I told you, I don't trust any other director. I don't trust any other director to direct my what? My Matrix trilogy besides the Wachowski sisters. You see what I'm saying? But my second choice would be Christopher Nolan, obviously. But even then, Christopher Nolan is not a Matrix guy. But because he did, he do, he likes doing complicated movies. He would be the, the my second choice, obviously. He sits there. But I, I want to hire another director. I don't trust any other director besides the Wachowski sisters. Just like I don't trust any other director besides Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson to direct my Zanus movie. I don't. I would never hire any other. I would never hire any other director to direct Zanus other than Peter Jackson or or Mel Gibson. Sits there. Some Sarah. Yeah, hey, Ivan, tell us your plan then. You know what I'm saying? If you, if, if, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if you know what I'm saying? If you, 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 you I, they're like, Ivan, you better have a good idea for a good story if you want us to delete Resurrections. I'm like, okay, okay, this is my idea. And they're like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. They're all shocked. Holy shit, Ivan, that's your idea for the story? I'm like, yeah, like, holy shit, Ivan, that looks like a masterpiece. You're looking at you know what I'm saying? So, Ivan, you want to make three movies? Yeah, I want to make three sequel movies. I want to make see three. I want to make three sequel movies. Three sequel movies, based off my what? Three sequel movies based off my. Three sequel movies based off my notes, and there you know it's time I was like, holy shit, that sounds like a masterpiece. Yes, I also want to make three games. Three games based off my three movies. So you're gonna make a Matrix Four, Matrix Five, Matrix Six. Yes, I'm gonna make a Matrix Four. Matrix 5, Matrix 6 game. Are, are you going to be in the game, Ivan? Yeah, I'm going to be in the game. V is going to be in the game. All the all my stars are going to be in the games. See what I'm saying? You're like, holy shit, Ivan. You're looking at a fantastic collection of assets. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to see the Warner Bros. Excel. Like, oh, man, if only we had the keys. If, if, if only... if if, if They'll be like, oh man, if, if, if only we were you, Ivan, and, and you were Warner Bros., we, we would purchase the rights off that. I'm saying, yeah. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You're looking at a fantastic collection of assets. You know, so you're going to see them salivate, you know what I'm saying? All, all my brand, yeah. 
So Ivan, you want to make Unreal Engine five games? I'm like, yeah, Unreal Engine five games, like like we did for Matrix Awakens, Ivan. I'm like, yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, holy shit, Ivan, that's next gen level technology. How much money are you putting towards your games? Yeah, I'm gonna put like north of four fifty million dollars towards my Matrix games. Four fifty million. They're like, we can't even afford to make movies for that much money, Ivan. So your games are are better quality than even our movies. Yes. My games are going to be better quality than even your movies. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're going to have that. Yeah, I, we can't afford that. If we, if we made a Matrix game for $450 million, we would lose money. Yeah. Whereas for me, I won't lose money because I have the keys. And I'm a son of God, Vision Spirit God. A good, like, couple hundred million people worldwide are going to buy my games. I'll make my money back. Yeah. Are you gonna hire a walkthrough guy for that, Ivan? Yeah, I saw your Zayn's walkthrough. That was an amazing experience, Ivan. That rabbi guy's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I hired him. He's gonna be doing my walkthroughs for my what? He's gonna be doing my walkthroughs for my Matrix games too. He's like, oh, I can't wait to watch that. And I'm saying, yeah. Even for my game, even for my game walkthroughs, the whole world's gonna get food for that too. For Rabbi's walkthroughs, yeah, they're all gonna get food for that first part, man. Motor Robert, Rad, Brad, Brad, do a good like two hour walkthrough for, for for all my part ones. That way you give the that way you give the world a good experience. One one hour is nothing. Don't do a one hour walkthrough. Do a two hour walkthrough. Okay, I have not done that for yeah, you listen to me, Brad. I'm the boss. If you don't listen to me, Brad, I can fire your ass, I can hire someone else, I'm saying. Yeah. And don't listen to me because I'm the boss. I'm king now. And I'm paying him, I, pay, I paid him 640 k I expect him to work hard. I want you doing a two-hour part for the first walkthrough. And for all the other walkthroughs, do on average 30, 35, 40 minutes around there. 45 minutes. And make sure you upload three videos minimum a day. Don't do two, don't do one, no. Do three videos minimum a day. Three to four videos min, min, uh, a day. You do three or four. Okay, I was just saying, tell him that, the way, that way Brad knows, I'm saying. And he'll listen to me because I'm the boss. I'm paying him his fucking salary. He'll listen to me, obviously. Brad, I'm paying you. I paid you a lot of money. I expect you to work hard, man. Which you will, obviously, because he's getting a lot. He got a nice check. <laughs> yeah. Making, recording games is a slack job. You record and then you just edit it and then you're done. And you, get, you got your nice check. It's a slack job to have. Slack, slap, jo slack. I'm butchering my, my speaking. Slack job to have, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that is my deal for Warner Bros. There. That is my deal for Warner Bros. That is my deal for Warner Bros. I'm there. That is my deal for Warner Bros. Like, I have it's a deal, yeah. And the brand's better off in your hands, yes. The brand's better off in what? The brand is better off in what? In my hands. As if I make that Matrix sequel. If I make that Matrix... If I make that Matrix sequel trilogy... Yeah, and, those, and those games will become bigger than even Star Wars. It'll be the biggest IP in the entertainment industry with Xanus. Xanus and the Matrix will be the two biggest IP brands in, in, in the industry. You have the Xanus game, and you also have the Xanus movie in the merch. And you have the Matrix movies, and you also have the Matrix games in the Matrix merch. So it's here. And the movies. They're all going to gross billions. My games are not going to do as much as my movies, obviously. For my games, if I hire a walkthrough guy, chances are only like maybe 250 million people worldwide will buy my games. My game might maybe make, I don't know, my, me and Vision might make maybe 10 billion off our game maybe. 8 billion maybe around there, 10 billion off the game around there. 7 billion, 8 billion, because if I, if I hire, if I hire Rabbit as a walkthrough guy, 
most of the world will be watching the walkthrough, but will prefer to watch the walkthrough because not not many people around the world play games. Only like you know what I'm saying. So chances are for my games, me and Region will make maybe seven billion or something like that. Eight billion, ten billion off the game around there. Because most people around the world are not gonna pay eight hundred bucks to buy a PS6. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna I don't feel like paying eighty bucks because most people around the world don't play games, right? Yeah, I'd rather just watch Ivan's oh, Ivan's walkthrough, yeah, for free on his website. Hence why maybe a good 200, 200 million people buy my game. Maybe you might make maybe seven billion perhaps off the game. We'll make our planes, but not the kind of money we're gonna make off the movie, man. The movie everyone will buy that. Whereas the the the, the whereas the, the games, not everyone will buy that. Especially if I hire a walkthrough guy, not not everyone's gonna buy the games. They're gonna like I'm not even gonna buy the game. I'm probably just gonna watch Rabbit's walkthrough. I might perhaps buy my PS6 and play it myself. I might play it, but I'd rather just watch Rob Rod Rob, Rob, Rob play it. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys want to watch it again, you guys will most likely rewatch the game again. Because it's an Ivan game. Yeah, Ivan VJ game. Yeah. Chances are I'm going to watch Rob, my game like a good... I'm going to rewatch the Rob Rad game over and over again. <laughs> rewatch it. <laughs> yeah. You guys will do that too. Yeah, I'm going to go back and rewatch this game. This is a fucking sick game. Yeah. And then, yeah. I'm saying, yeah, man. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna go upstairs and make a coffee for myself. I'll be back. Don't hate me, you know what I'm Alrighty, sorry about that. I just want to go upstairs to brew some coffee. So in a good, like, I don't know, 10 minutes from now, I will get my coffee upstairs. And if you hear the noise, I'm eating corn. Excuse the noise. So, yeah. Hence why the Warner Bros. is going to be shocked on my story. Holy shit, I mean, it sounds like a masterpiece, yeah. And Vijay will help me. Vijay will help me with the notes. BJ will help me with all the notes. Obviously.
Ja. Yeah, that's why the Warner Bros. is actually going to be shocked with my story. I'm going to be like, holy shit, I have now sounds like a masterpiece. You have looking at an amazing story. You're looking at a masterpiece, guys. A masterpiece, yeah, man. My Matrix story will even rival my Zanus story, man. Zanus will beat it out, obviously, but, like, the Matrix story will be almost as good, man. It will be good, man. It will be an amazing story. You're on a masterpiece. Look, it's such a masterpiece that the Warner Bros. execs are gonna have that. They're gonna feel like shit. Like, um, they're gonna feel like total shit. Like, the Kossi sisters are... The, the, the Warner Bros. execs are gonna feel so like shit. They're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe we made this fucking garbage movie. Yeah. I can't believe we made this resurrection story. And you, know, well, and, 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 and you want to tell this story, Ivan? Yeah, Ivan, we'll, 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 we'll follow your terms. We'll delete this. Yeah. Delete it. Otherwise, I'm not making this trilogy. I can't fix your story, guys. Trinity being the one, you know what I'm saying, with, 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 with what? With Neo. I can't fix that story. You have to delete it. You have to delete it, Samsara. I cannot fix your mess. You have to delete your, 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 your story, Samsara. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, and my deal is $2.2 billion. I'm not going any higher than that, man. Your Matrix brand is not as big as Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? Disney may be able to dupe George, but you're not going to dupe me. So I'm, saying, I'm not going to let you do my that, man. As I'm going to keep talking about this. I don't mean to be rude, George, but when you watch this, Disney duped you, man. As your brand was worth easily $7.5 million. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? The three, the three prequels did, did about $3 billion around there, right? Yeah. And you also have the Clone Wars and you have Rebels. Those are popular shows, too. Don't forget that. You also have all the games that came out in the past. Easily gross a couple billion dollars. You also have the book sales. And you have the merch. Yeah, Disney straight up Duke George Lucas, man. Four billion bucks. Because Disney's greedy, obviously, yeah. George just caved into the... I guarantee you George did try to get like six, seven billion dollars. But Disney said no. Because they're fucking... They're cheap people, obviously. Like, like Disney. Star Wars is worth seven billion dollars, man. You bought Pixar. You're willing to pay seven billion for Pixar, but you're not willing to pay seven billion for 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 for, for what for Star Wars? Because you guys are cheap, obviously. And they duped George, and and they what? They 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 underpaid him, obviously. And they gave him. They not only duped him, they gave him a stock deal too. And the Disney stock is not the Disney the Disney Star Wars stock is not looking too good right now, man. Because the Solo flopped. It's not looking that great right now. Hence they duped him, obviously. And the sequels were not that great. Yeah, they duped him. Straight up, they straight up duped George Yaman. Yeah, they duped him. They duped George. They yeah, don't hate me, George. They duped you, man. Yeah, man. They straight up duped George. Disney duped George George Lucas, yeah, man. Yeah. They duped George. Really, Ivan? Yeah, they duped you, man. They duped you, man. Yeah. As what? Disney was Disney was should have paid a good like seven billion dollars for for what? For 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 for, for Star Wars. They should have paid like seven billion dollars for Star Wars Disney. And they only paid four billion dollars. Yeah, it's sad, man. And they gave George a stock deal too. Half half cash. I heard half cash, half stock. They duped George straight up. Yeah, man. They don't hate me. They duped George. Yeah, man. As if I was George, I, I would have done an all out cash. If, okay, if you're gonna okay, if you're gonna pay me four billion dollars, if you're gonna underpay me and dupe me like that, I want an all out cash deal. I don't want any stock deal. As all, an all out cash deal is better, man. It's cash straight. It's all. It's money straight to your bank. You don't have to worry about about your about, about your brand tanking and all your brand value tanking and all that stuff. 
You know what I'm saying? And all our cash deals better, man, than, than a stock deal. The only thing that's better about stock deals is, is, is if your brand skyrockets and it's super successful, then you'll make more money, obviously, but like it's risky. So it's, it's a stock deal's risky. There's risk involved. Whereas a, a cash deal is not risky. It's money straight to your bank. Hence why an all-out cash deal is better, in my opinion. Is there? As my deal for, for Warner Bros. Is, all, is an all-out cash deal. It's a two point two billion dollar deal for the for the brand. That's my that's my that's my deal for for, for Warner Bros. If they want stock, my guys, I'm not giving you a stock deal. You're not worth my royalties. You know what I'm saying? Because I have because you know my brand will be successful. You want a nice piece of that cheddar. My deal is an all out cash deal. You're not getting a piece of my royalties. You're not worth it. Yeah, if we're not worth it. Yeah, you're not worth my royalties. Hence why I'm giving you an all an all out cash deal is better. It's money well, for my comp for my for. For my brand, a stock deal is, is technically better, obviously, but they're not worth my royalties. And you're better off just getting money straight to your accounts. It's, 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 it's much more simple. I pay you the money, and the money, the, all the $2.2 million goes to your bank. It goes to Warner Bros. Bank, I'm saying. Oh, I mean, you're just saying, yeah. In a good like five minutes, I'm gonna go get my coffee upstairs again. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave my room again. No, don't hate me, guys. I know you hate waiting. I'm gonna go get my coffee. Yeah. So that is my deal for Warner Bros. You know. So and what I might do is I might uh, I might what I might hire a beat guy and I'm gonna tell him, okay, this is my idea for the Matrix song. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Ivan, I want you coming up with a beat for this song. Okay, Ivan, what 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 is your idea for the music? You know what I'm saying? I tell him my idea, obviously. I tell the guy my idea for the music, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And it goes something like this, I'm saying. He is the one, yeah. He is the one, yeah. You are the one, yeah. You are the one, yeah. he is the one born inside, yeah. he is the one born inside, yeah. he is the one born inside, yeah. he is the one born inside. Yeah. You guys are like, holy shit, I have a natural idea for the song, I'm like, yeah, yeah, holy shit, that's a beautiful song. Yeah, I have, we can come up with a, good, with a good beat for that, you know what I'm saying? And the guy comes up with a beautiful beat, you know what I'm saying? You have a violin playing or a piano. What do you think is better, guys? A violin or a piano? I don't know. I think a piano is better, but a vi you can mix it with a piano and a violin. You know what I'm saying? He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside here. You know what I'm saying? You know, I said, I tell the one, well, yeah, this is my idea for the one song on my trilogy. He's like, holy shit, and that's your idea for the one song? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, and that's a powerful song. That song can make you cry, but it also pumps you up. Yeah. That song is so powerful, it can make you cry, but it can also make you pump you up. Yeah. The story of the one and what he went through and he suffered death, obviously. I die and I come back to life and I'm the one I'm kicking ass. Yeah, man, look at an amazing, amazing soundtrack with that, man. Yeah. And when, I, when, when that song plays, I'm kicking ass and you see Michael B. Jordan, he's like, the Oracle was right. You know what I'm saying? He really is the one. You know what I'm saying? And you see all the Never Canals, they're all, people in Never Canals, they're all watching, they're all in awe and I'm the one kicking ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you look at an amazing movie, yeah, man. Holy shit, I creep. Yeah, very creep. I even know. I, I even have a good, good ideas for songs. I even have an idea for the remix of of the Make It Shine song with VJ and Victorious. Yeah, man. When you make it shine, when you make shine the firelight shine, make it shine the firelight shine. You make it shine the firelight shine. You make it shine the firelight shine. You make it shine the firelight shine. Holy shit, I agree. Yeah, that was my idea for the remix. And they're unique, right? <laughs> Had I done their unique, I would have put that song. I would have licensed the rights off Nickelodeon. I would have played that song in the movie, but I would have made a remix. When you make it shine the firelight shine. You make it shine the firelight shine. You make it shine the firelight shine. So when someone says when you make it shine, 
Someone says, shine the firelight, shine out, you make it. Shine the firelight, shine out, you make it. Shine the firelight, shine out, you make it. Shine the firelight, shine out. You have this scene, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My idea for, the, for, for that song wasn't there unique. When VJ becomes infatuated by me and I become infatuated with her, she, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I hug her and all of a sudden she like walks. And she's all happy and you get that song. Shine the firelight, shine it. Yeah. Because we're lovers in the movie, right? Yeah, man. That's something crazy. Yeah, man. I told you it. There's a high chance I will not make their unique. Because I'm, I'm, I'm almost like he made the Matrix Trilogy, guys. I'm just being honest here. I'd rather do the Matrix Trilogy than do their unique. Their unique is a sick story, but it's romance, obviously. And the Great Escape is an amazing story. Don't hate me, Keanu Reeves, I'm saying. But the end of the day, I'd rather do the, I'd rather do what? I'd rather do the uh the, the Matrix Trilogy, obviously. But I might do the Great Escape. We'll do, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens, obviously. Do the Great Escape. Keanu Reeves is lucky. He'll be saved. He'll be the star. But, he, but they're all one and dones. After I do the Great Escape, the, movie, the, 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 the journey ends, obviously. Well, for the Matrix, it's a three-movie trilogy. And so locked on for three years. I'm saying, huh? Yo, I'm just saying, yeah, they're locked on for three years. After this video, I'll watch my event, my show, and then I'll work on my book probably around 7, 8 o'clock around there today. I'll work on my book. Obviously. Anyways, sir, guys, I'm going to go get my coffee upstairs. Let's get to the video if you don't want to wait. Don't hate me, you know what I'm Sorry about that, guys. I have to go get my coffee, and I, I got a banana. So if you hear the noise, I'm eating food. Holy shit, I'm eat a lot. Yes, I do eat a lot. I am God. I eat a lot, obviously. Yeah. That's my idea for Warner Bros. And that's my idea for the Matrix song. Holy shit, that sounds like an amazing song. Yes. So they're looking at a powerful story. Hence why they'll call it scissors. I know, I know, I don't know. I hire a beat guy, he does the beat for me. Yeah, Ivan, we can we 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 yeah, Ivan record. Ivan, record re record how you sing and we can come with a good with 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 with, 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 with a good beat for this for this kind of song. Yeah, Ivan, what what are you thinking of for the intro? Okay, I'm thinking something like the piano and a violin. Okay, Ivan, yeah, put a piano beat in there and like a mix mixture with violin in the song. Okay, Ivan, what's your idea for song? Okay, go, go something like this, okay? He is the one, yeah. He is the one, yeah. You are the one, yeah. 
You are the one. Yeah. He is the one born inside. Yeah. He is the one born inside. Yeah. He is the one born inside. Yeah. He is the one born. Holy shit, that's a sick song, yeah. And it comes with a beautiful beat. You get this like violin and piano, yeah. Look an amazing song, yeah. What kind of amazing song for that man? Holy shit, you crave, yes. Imagine having that song and you see me and I come back to life and I'm kicking ass and you see like Michael B. Jordan and VJ and all the Nebuchadnezzar crew, they're all cheering me on. They're all watching, they're all shocked. Like, remember in the scene when Neo came back to life and Morpheus is like, he is the one. Remember that? Yeah. Think something like that for my, uh, for, 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 for Matrix shows, Yeah. I when you play that song when the one is born, no, I, I don't want you, I want to save the surprise for the end. Do not play that song until I am now the one kicking ass. When I'm a baby, when I'm born as a baby, just play some other song. You can play some Matrix song, whatever it is. But for, 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 for the end, I want you, for the end of the, of the Matrix 4 movie, you play that, uh, he is the one song. Is this there? So Ivan, is that your theme? Yes, that's. That that's my that's my uh that's my idea for the song for the one. See what I'm saying? In the second movie when I kick ass and I fight all those clones, you play that song too. I don't know Agent Smith hits me and I, I go flying into the wall and I take a pull too and I fight all the agents obviously and you play that song and I kick ass. Was in the Major Lore they played some silly song, right? That da 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 remember that? <laughs> yeah. That song what wasn't uh what? The song when Neo got his pulled, that was a pretty sick song on those hand. Uh he uh I, I, I'm butchering it. You know what I'm saying? He has his pull. That was pretty good. But that 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 song was not that great, you know what I'm saying? That was a kind of a silly song, obviously. Which for me I'm gonna put that amazing song in there. He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside here. You know what I'm saying? And every time she says inside, it gets more intense when she say, when she says it. It's more intense. Like, Holy shit, you crazy. Yes, it's more intense. He is the one born inside here. 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 You know what I'm saying? You see me, you see me fighting the ages, and you see Michael Jordan. Like, oh, he really is the one. Everyone next to is all watching. You no, know I'm saying you look at an amazing story, Adam. Holy shit, you crazy. Yes, I am very creative. I am born with a gift. I am born with a gift, guys. But I told you, even though I'm creative, I'm going to be stuck in some scenes, obviously. As as what? As I'm, I'm also human, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, gonna, I'm creative, but I'm, I'm, I need John Favreau, Dave Filoni, or the Russo brothers, or Ryan Coogler, or... Because I might hire Ryan Coogler and Ryan Johnson, JJ Ames. I'm going to need those guys to help me out a lot. And I'm going to need the Wakasis to help me out a lot. Those guys are going to help me out more with the intelligence side of things. Understand the story. Oh, that's so much. Should I kind of 